earlier today. We had heard it's believed that the person will survive. Let's listen in now. Hi, officer, as you are aware, one of our officers was shot earlier today. Our um, Northwest District officer and my crime suppression team was out today with his team conducting a surveillance. And while doing so, they were engaged in gunfire by subjects. Um, one of our officers was shot. Thank God he's doing great. He's in stable condition and he will be able to go home and celebrate Thanksgiving with his family. Do you have anyone in custody? I do want to say that the scene where, we, where our officer was conducting the investigation, which is in the area of 154 and approximately 18th, 19th Avenue, the scene is currently active and we currently have five individuals detained currently right now. Um, if there's subject out there who are brazen enough to fire upon law enforcement officers, we know that they would not have any issue with firing upon our citizens. I want the community to know that I would not be tolerating subjects firing upon our officers. I'm going to provide whatever resources there is to ensure that our officers are protected, as well as the citizens of Miami-Dade County. Uh, again, our officer is doing better. He will be going home to celebrate Thanksgiving with his family, and we're currently out there. If anybody live in the area 154 19th Avenue, please understand it's still an active investigation. If you do not need to be in the area, do not be in the area. <coughs> Well, we're here to report on an officer who, in the line of duty, was shot. Thank God he is well and he will be returning home. But we know that our officers put themselves in the line of, of fire on our behalf each and every day. So we stand with them and we pray for them and we just want people to realize what they are doing on our behalf. And we urge everyone who has a gun to use it safely and not to harm innocent civilians and certainly not to fire upon those who are protecting us each and every day. So please, if you see something, say something, please help us keep the community safe, especially as we go into this holiday season. Now, this law enforcement officer is a real hero. He comes from a law enforcement family and he is in good spirits and standing strong. And we're very, very grateful to him and to all the others that came to his, uh, to, to, to his side to assist him in this, this terrible incident. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Spanish and at the end, we're gonna go ahead and answer questions. So let me know when you guys are ready. All right, you've been listening to a press conference from live outside Jackson Memorial Hospital's Ryder Trauma Center. The first person you heard from was from the new Miami-Dade Police Director, Stephanie Daniels. She gave an update on the situation that happened earlier today in Miami Gardens involving one of her, her police officers. She says that the crime suppression team was conducting surveillance in the area of 154th and 19th Avenue. They were conducting surveillance when they engaged in some sort of gunfire with some other assailants. We are told at this point, five people are detained. The officer, one of the officers, they didn't go into details beyond the fact that one officer, a male officer, was shot but is doing well. That officer is stable right now. And in fact, the police director said that officer is expected to be home in time for Thanksgiving, whether that means he goes home today or perhaps tomorrow. That person is expected to be home sometime within the week. Their injuries do not appear to be life threatening. Again, that officer is stable after being shot early earlier today in Miami Gardens. Police Director Daniel said people brazen enough to fire on officers would not hesitate to shoot at citizens. And she says that is why she takes situations like this very seriously. She plans to support officers and make sure that they have all the protection and backup they need while they are doing their jobs. We also heard briefly from Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who said that officers put themselves in the line of fire on our behalf each and every day. She said that the officer is in good spirits and standing strong as well as with the support of their fellow officers. Typically in situations like this, you see a pretty large police presence there at the hospital. We did see some officers walking in and out. I don't know if they're taking questions right now or if the mayor is also speaking in Spanish, but I do know that the public information officer said they would be taking questions. Perhaps that's when we'll get a little bit more details as to who this officer is, 
what type of suppression and surveillance um, they were doing earlier this morning. This happened at about 10 30 11 o'clock in the area of Miami Gardens. The police directors called this a crime suppression team conducting surveillance. The officer was shot but should be home in time for Thanksgiving. Otherwise, she didn't give many details on to where that officer was shot earlier. We had heard grazed, but the words that the police director used just now was that the officer had been shot but is stable this afternoon. Five people are detained. She did not say whether they'd been arrested, but she did say detained. It looks like she may be about to answer some questions, so let's go ahead and listen in to what that question is and what the police director has to say. I can tell you that he's 29 years of age. He's been on the department for seven years, and he works with within our Northwest District Crime Suppression Team. Does it get a bit more needy and personal than that? Not currently. <laughs> I can give you that for now. He's, he's conscious of speaking. That is correct. Thank God. Yes, he is. We are very blessed that he would be going home. Um, because we could have been telling you a different story right now. So we're just thankful that, that he's doing well and, and he's good. Was he, did, uh, you didn't talk about it, but we all have heard that it's best to stop the bullet and ricochet. Is that right He was wearing his vest, and we do believe that the vest has caused him to be able to go home maybe with his family, yes. Nonetheless, um, subject fired upon our officer, then we could have been dealing with something definitely tragic, more tra tragic today. Was that part of the reforms that we reported on last year? Um, no, no. The regular ones. I just, I'm, we're just, we're just grateful that he was wearing a vest and it helped protect his life. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, um, the injuries in the face. You've been listening to an update from Miami-Dade Police Director Stephanie Daniels regarding a police officer who was shot in the line of duty earlier this morning in Miami Gardens. Once again, just to wrap things up, she said that a member of the crime suppression team, the rest of his team was also conducting surveillance when they engaged in some sort of gunfire in the area of 154th and 19th Avenue. Five people are detained at this time. The police director described the officer who was shot as 29 years old with the department for seven years and in the Northwest district crime suppression team. She says that had he not been wearing his vest, perhaps she'd be telling a very different story, his bulletproof vest. She says that that definitely played a factor in being that he is not facing life threatening issues or injuries rather at this time. She says that he is expected to be home in time for the Thanksgiving holiday. We also heard from Miami Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who said officers put themselves in the line of fire on our behalf each and every day. She says the officer is in good spirits and standing strong. We of course are staying on top of this developing story and we'll bring you the latest beginning on CBS News Miami at 5 p.m. and on our website anytime at cbsmiami.com.